Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Honorable U. Todd, on Thursday spearheaded a hamper distribution exercise to several communities in the upper Demerara Berbice region. The more than 40 food hampers were distributed to vulnerable residents of Nottinghamshire, Three Friends, Siberia Old England, Kumaka, West Watuka, Blueberry Hill and Block 22 Linden. The Foreign Affairs Minister said the government considers citizens as its most valuable resource and has included all in its development plan. He noted the wide range of measures in the 2021 national budget, including the investments in the education, health and social sectors, which will meet the needs of all Guyanese. Well, we want to be able to meet the promises that we've made in the manifesto because if you look at the budget, it's aligned with the manifesto, okay? And everything in there speak, speaks to the promises that we have made. And uh, this is because we, we even before uh, we got into full campaign mode, we've consulted with various stakeholders in the communities across Guyana we listened to them, and that is how we came up with that manifesto. That manifesto is what got us elected. And that is why we are fulfilling the promises in that manifesto through our budgetary allocation. Minister Todd said soon the country will be able to use the financial resources from the oil and gas sector to address the needs of all Guyanese. In the meantime, he said the government is seeking to meet the immediate needs of the most vulnerable across the country. The residents in return have given kudos to the government for the initiative. I give the government president, uh, Irfan Ali, A+, plus because since he has gone into office, we have become vis visible to the government because they are looking at us in every way. Right? They are coming, keeping meetings with us, bringing hampers to us, and that is very good. The vulnerable people in our community, that's what we are looking after. And I thank the government and the president for that. I am proud of what our president is doing to Guyana. Not only one community, the whole of Guyana. I am proud of that. I must say thank you to him and the cabinet for everything. My husband, his sight gone. He don't see. So all the time he lay down, he sit down and got to try and look him. And we're very thankful and grateful. Um, yes. Yeah. So we thank you all very much for come up and, you know, we all could see, you know, we need some try for assist us. I think it's a blessing in disguise right now with the COVID and the situation. We are very thankful for the support. <laughs>